What's going on, our valued It's Content podcast followers? Before we get into the episode, I got something to tell you. Our podcast finally has its first sponsor, Beantown Brew. The go-to coffee if you want to attack your day. It's for the blue-collar worker, the 6-2 to two guy, the guy on the job site busting balls, the underdog, the people that go unnoticed. Beantown Brew is for you, and if you're not drinking it, what the fuck are you doing? Check out Beantown Brew at beantownbrew.com. It's currently not on Online, but it'll be online soon. Keep a lookout for it. Beantown Brew, the coffee for the hard working blue collar savage you are. Now let's get to the episode. Can you do a freestyle? You think you can freestyle off the top of the head? If you see me out with 30 fellas, then there's really 60 of us because there's 30 women in position down for any of us. Hey. hey. Me and all my brothers got some cash to divvy up and not told G to send me something we can fuck the city up with. Hey. I don't think a lot of people know that song. She want missionary, right, but enough, I told her giddy up. You're, we're, we're, we're white. We're white. We're white. We're fucking white. We're here, man. It's Content Podcast. Another episode for the beautiful people. Um, oh, anything new? Bro, what the fudge? What? Oh, my God. What? You stink. Can you stop texting? Hold on. I'm almost Why done. are you texting during the podcast? We didn't even stop. The, the Greek girl can wait. The other Latina can wait. Are you The gone? other white one can wait. The other black one can wait. They all can wait. All the girls that you Shut texting can up, wait. Shut up, man. Hold on. Fuck. Holding up the fucking podcast here, buddy. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm carrying it. My fucking back's hurting. My back's hurting. Hold on. I'm almost done. Yo, you legit stink. What there's the just, fuck are you doing? There's a thing lingering, man. But what are you doing on your phone? It's none of your business. Like, you you, you were right. You know, you were right. Of course I'm right. I, I know. know. I'm always right. Shut the fuck up, I'm going to go man. cut the dead space in this there's podcast. No dead space. That was good. That's entertainment. Dead space, yeah. <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> we're here, man. We got a special episode today. I like to do the Q&As once in a while. The Q&As are fun. Yeah, me too. I like I to leave the- my questions like a dish. Yeah, Prajut uh, put a story up. I put a story up, and uh, only one of us has the homework, and I did the homework. <laughs> Yo, I, you know what? But why uh, did you delete? The, I don't. Un- what uh, went you through your why, brain? You know, say, you know what? It, you know what it was? I didn't. I forgot that that was up. But you know how it is with the first story of the day, and that accident happened, and it already has like twenty three hundred views, and that's why I, I was like, let me get rid of these and let me post this because some dude cracked my car. I know, but you should have just screenshotted what you had. And you know what's funny though, Tom? There's only like four questions, so I really don't think it was a big deal. You know. And it was stupid. It's like, yo, why are you so fat? And it was just like dumb shit. But then there was one that was like, fuck, marry, kill, hmm. chicken palm, big ZD. And then I think it was lasagna. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, before we get into the question, I think we should talk about our Forged event last week. We had the Forged event. It went fucking great. It went great. Um, yeah. We had what? How many people there? Like four, five hundred people. Yeah, signing autographs. The meet and greet was, was crazy. Like, bro. I signed some ladies' tits. It was like, dude, what is going on? Like, <laughs> Yo, how crazy was that? Crazy. The bears really good. Uh, Connor's team's awesome. Thank the you food guys was for good. They had a little, uh, couple of bites. The Irish bites. We yep. had some sausages. They really had. Good. Um, I forget what else it was. It was good. A though. lot of stuff. Yeah, the Black Rose Boston, great atmosphere. Yeah, uh, but we, yeah, we really had the support come out again. Uh, people just left and right telling us you yeah. guys need to be in a movie with Mark Wahlberg. I'm like, I know. I'm waiting for the buzz. Waiting for know. the buzz. Should um, be coming soon. Everyone Dion saying Point the, was there. Dion Point was there. Shout out Uncle D. Uh, everyone's saying the Delhi should be on Netflix. I know, guys. I'm working on it. The um, vlog's out now. The vlog is out now. Go check out the the Forged uh, launch party vlog that's yeah. out. Uh, but a good night overall. Always yeah. a good night, though, when we throw the parties, right? We always get the people out. They're always excited. They're always fired up. <sighs> shit what again? are you sniffing? Did you, sniff, nothing did to you sniff. shit again? Fucking soccer cleats. Soccer cleats. Yo, you used to wear soccer cleats during baseball. I can never forget that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't remember, know what you're remember, talking who about. Who got that serious? She was like, oh, man, well, you really should be judging them if you couldn't afford them. I was like, bro, was it? Was Someone joke. said that? Yeah, Cliff. Cliff Notes. Did he say that? He was like, yeah, well, you're your type of to judge off of his cleats. I was like, no, it was just funny. It was a joke. No, yeah, you are judging, though. Yeah. The Cliff Notes Project. Shout out Cliff, man. Captain Cliff. Uh, but we're out here. Good event Thursday. Um, and now we're going to do a little Q&A segment on here because we haven't done one in a while. And it's good to connect with the fans. You know? Q&A with Tommy. Tommy and Prejou. We should have that be the intro of it. Um, all right. Here we go. Uh, all right. Question number one. <clears throat> Uh, we have someone that we've collabed with ask us question. So let's just keep that in mind. Huh. Who's your favorite creator to collab with? With oh. this emoji. Oh, okay. You know, Do you know who it is? That was either Ian or Maggie. It was Ian. It was Ian. So um, it was the Scalatas actually. Was um, it? 
No, I'm, that was my, <laughs> <laughs> that's my answer. This got a lot of, it is though, you know, and I love you, but you no, know, no, it's yeah. And no, it, yeah. you know, it Ian, just, no, Ian, we love to collab with everyone. And you everyone. know what it is? You're like 35 and they're our age. <laughs> Bro, so, you did not just say that. What? You just called him 30. He's not 35. Ann's 30 something. He's maybe 30. My bad, 31 Anne. maybe. And but you know what I'm saying. You know, you're like married. You got the kid coming. You got the dog. You know, if we're like, we're out raging, you know, together. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know what I we're mean? We're all potty with them and shit. You know, and, and like we, they welcomed us in their house with their parents and, you know. Yeah, you know, Tom, I still haven't met your doggy. I don't know what's right, going on and, there. Right, and, and Tom wore their father's croc, so I think that's a real level crocs, That's a real level yeah. of trust. So I think they got the number one. But yeah, I'd say Scott Lauders. But and, Ian, you know, and you're what, up there, though? though. You're up there. You're like a top, like, Ah, you know, seven. Maggie, I think you beat two in. Uh, yeah, Maggie. Uh... No, I'm, I'm just, just joking. Skip I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> All right. If the Celt- Christian ba- Christopher Bartolo, if the Celtics lost the other night, would you have believed you and Chatty were the new curse? No. No. No, because our record at the Garden would have been what? five and two. What are we now? Five and one. Six and one because they just won Wednesday at, when we were at the suite. That they just won. So oh yeah, 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 yeah. Six yeah. and one. Six and one. Yeah. Six and one. Six and one. Um, Super Mario Advance asks, how do you get the most out of every day? What does progress look like to use? How do you get the most out of every day? What does progress look like to you? The most of every day productive, man. It's really rifling off emails. I think right. we were talking about it last podcast. It's yeah. like the routine in the morning. That's number it is, one. Yeah, it is the routine in the morning. The gym, uh, it, I feel like, yeah, it's just productive. You got to keep doing things to just... <laughs> That's the found. I think the foundation, like you said, is just getting in a routine in the morning. Sure. A lot of people feel like they don't need a routine in the morning, and I was one of those people for a while. But like now that I'm actually in a routine, I'm over two weeks in now, dialed in, twelve pounds down. I, I know you need a run, morning routine because it's the first time in my life that I've actually stuck to something. Yeah, it's great. Besides, when I was at school, and then when I dropped out of school to do this, I was never in a routine. But mm-hmm. that builds the foundation of your day. If you win that morning, if you win the first half of the day, the second half's easy. You, you, you already won the day. You know, because what was well, especially? I don't know if it's just equinox but like i mean honestly it might be because i've never felt so good when i walk out of a gym like actually from the steam room and it's clingy like also it's just, just look where you are you're walking out you're in the nicest see, pot of right, boston it's beautiful it's literally beautiful. even the get, great even the great some of the best coffee in town at frank anthony's you go to get a nice snack over there if you need it you know? even like the gray days it's just like yeah it's just still nice like you know it's nice there's nice cars around you it's nice you live in the high life there Bro. But the number one thing for me, why I love that gym the most, because how clean it is. It's clean. It's clean. very, very, very clean. clean. They're literally clean in every I've minute. I've been in some dirty, dirty, dirty gyms, you know. It's a different level when you go to the gym and the people around you. It's not like, it, you know, it actually yeah. is very yeah. different. It is. I agree. Yeah. And the, like the, the, when, you, when you're in Equinox, you're around successful people, people that are in shape, yeah. and it just makes you want to be better. One thing that does make me cringe, though, when you walk in and they're just like, Combing their hair and yeah. blow drying. I'm yeah. like, oh, you're a yeah. bitch. You're a bitch. Yeah, they're just always they're just always like yo, in- like Toby. I'm like so tired of the office. Like they're I like just, iron in their suits before they I'm leave. I'm like and going shit. to get a Benegir. I'm just like I'll punch you so hard right in the teeth. Uh Curtis Deline play fuck Mary Kill with the New England <laughs> States. All right, well, marry Massachusetts. We're gonna marry Massachusetts. Yeah, I'm gonna bang uh, Connecticut. No, I'm gonna I'm bang, bang Connecticut. I think I'm banging Rhode Island, bro. No, I'm, oh, Connecticut what? sucks. Connecticut sucks. Rhode Island sucks, bro. It's a dump. At least Connecticut's like in rich towns. You know what I mean? Classy broads. Yeah, but at least you got Providence. You know, you want to go out and have a night. You know, you got shit there. Yeah, you got the Dominican. No, you got the, you got so. the Latinos. No. You got, you know, uh, you got so. the good food. I think I'm murdering them. I think I'm murdering nah. them or New Hampshire. One of the two. Nah, Maine's cool. Nah, I like New Hampshire. Though. I got Canopy Lake and shit. I up there. like New Hampshire too. I think I'm. He's probably just. I'm take, killing Rhode Island. I've I'm decided. taking small state, in, small state in the country. It's like, what are you even here for? That's you like know? a nice fuck. <sighs> no. Marry Massachusetts, kill Rhode Island, and bang Connecticut. Justin, what do you think? Oh, you gotta marry Mass. Have to. You know what? I'm gonna bang Maine because I fuck with Portland. And like okay. All right. Yeah, I never All been right. up there. I don't there. hate that. Yeah, I've never really been up there either. Then, uh, what are you killing? I'll kill fucking. True, true, true. I forgot about Vermont. Yeah, I don't let's remember take Vermont. it out on them. Yeah, fuck Vermont. Still killing Rhode Island. Uh, <laughs> next Shout out question. Ian. That was a payback for you, Ian. Yeah, Ian. <laughs> Ian's so pissed. He's gonna he's gonna stitch this video and fucking throw it on his TikTok. You should. Uh, ben Benny Boy asks, if you didn't live in Boston, where would you live? 
It's a hard question. Because uh, truthfully, I grew up here, and like, and, like the really shit we do else. right now, if it it's wasn't in Boston, be Boston, it has to be like a little outside. But if I wasn't doing this stuff, probably Florida, bro. Okay. Do you know where I would go? Um, I I would probably go try out and live in Austin, Texas, bro. It was nice there when I went. I visited Jake there like whatever four yeah. years ago, and it's just like, bro, it's really nice weather. It's like it's Austin's cheap. very like it's not like a hick town, bro. Like people think that it's like it's almost like a like not as nice but nice seaport area. It's like a city area. It's city. Mm-hmm. That's what I like because I like, I would want to live in a city area because I'm so used to it in Boston. But it's nice ass weather. You're surrounded by mountains. It's pretty sick. So that is cool. Austin, I would probably live at. That seems cool. But. Yeah, I like uh, downtown Tampa. Is cool, but Florida's like dope too, though. I, I mean, could definitely where, live in the where city would Tampa because you know Tampa. Probably huh? downtown Tampa. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. We still gotta go. I still gotta go to Tampa. Uh, ch- ch- I don't know what this kid's name is, bro. PX Ross Signal oh, from Paul. LA. What's his name? Paul? Is it Paul? Uh, Paul asks, are y'all visit in LA anytime soon? Man, it's a, we're trying to get out there. We're just going to make it to make sense. Like, we're trying to line some stuff up. Do you start checking really get it into us? To be completely honest, it's just, it's always just coming down to money. Everything comes down to money. And not that we're not making enough money. It's more of just not comf- I can there's be- more benefit yeah. in us putting the money back into our business. Than going to take a trip to LA, where like, what's like, what am I doing out in LA? Like, well, yeah, we can go make connections out in LA, but I just don't know if that, you know, wasting all that money is going to be worth it right mm-hmm. now. Like, when it makes sense, when like, you know, when Uncle Mock gives us a buzz and says, "Hey, come work out with me in my gym in in uh, Vegas or wherever he's at, LA or Vegas, wherever he is," and then we take a drive over to LA or stay in LA, then yeah, that makes sense. But so, we, I don't have any like major connections over there that I got to go connect with. I mean, but yeah. I know there could be connections made, so it would make sense eventually. Right now, it's just like the, the money. We're trying to work with a brand to send us out there. You know, maybe we yeah. can get someone to send us out that's there. That's the way I want it to be. You, you know, know, so it's all taken care of. Because if not, the travel's taken care of, then that's, you know. Nothing's that's, worse than going and just spending all that money. And then you come back and you're just like, wow. That's how I felt I after that? New York. And we didn't even, we I was didn't even pay for a flight. We didn't even pay for a flight either. You literally just shit. Like, <laughs> I heard that. W- <laughs> Yo, Justin, bro, like you, bro. Yo, yo, like you need to like it's protein fonts, bro. It's protein fonts. Come on, bro. Protein. Fonts. You act like you don't do this shit. That's you fucking, fucking little bitch. That's you straight, act like you don't that's do this shit. Bubble guts. That ain't no protein. You just yeah, you ate bubble mad guts. fried no, that food is last green gyros. night. It's a green gyros. You fucking prick. You do this every time. Nah, I don't you fuck. act like you don't do this, guys. I don't. Fuck. You rip ass. Nah, I don't you fuck. rip ass. I don't fuck. <laughs> Who's the man in the relationship someone asked? I don't even know what that means. Right. You calling us like. Right. Yeah, no, I'm ignoring that. That was weird. Hmm. <laughs> Rissa Klein says, what do you guys do for work other than social media? Or is that your main job? Rissa, it's our main job, sweetheart. Yeah. No um, more post office. We used to work in there and slave and all Yeah, because you used to work at the post office. I was at UMass Boston in college. Uh, dropped out in 2022. You left your job in 2022. Yeah, I left my job in 2022. It's been over a year and some change. And I do, uh, I'm like, so I actually was just talking to my mailman two days ago. He was it fucking sucks? Get your luck. You got out of here. And I was like, <laughs> oh my like, God, I've been so happy. I was like, to be honest, Adi, I see you work and I feel bad. 7.30, it's freezing out. He goes, yeah. He goes, kid, I see some of your videos. He goes, they're all right. I was like, all right, bro. I'll talk to you, my friend. They're all right. Just when I was feeling bad, it's like, all right, brother, stay warm. Yeah. At least Super Mario was in your mailman, though, you know? Yeah, you have literally one Super of the Mario, Mario. brothers. You wanna, Mario. I want to punch him in the face so bad. He just always has a little bitch look on his face. He's just like, ah, I'm a fucking mailman. <laughs> Just like, bro, you're a fucking literally like a clown. OCB OCB Meek asks, one thing you hate about Boston? It's a good question. Um, I, I really would just say maybe traffic. Traffic sucks, yeah. There's some other things I hate too, I'm not going to say. But yeah, no, definitely uh, definitely mean? traffic. I'm not say it. Nah, I mean, there's... You know, some people are just people. lame. Some, some people, people are lame. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of, but that, that's everywhere. Just I smell food. You got a, you cooking something up here? <laughs> food? It's, it's Maria's. Yeah, they, I think they're making some eggs down there or something. An omelet. Smells like some nice bit. French toast. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's through the wall. Are you serious? Oh. Sniffing the wall? 
Um, anyway, can Let's we get back to the podcast rigged. now? Can you yeah, stay cool. focused for like another 15 minutes? <laughs> You're like a fucking kid in school that gets it still. Like, relax. Relax. One thing I hate about Boston, I'm going to say, uh, I don't want to say traffic. You said that already. Um, the, the weather, the cold weather, the snow. I don't oh fuck God. with the snow. A lot of people Pocket. like the snow and the cold and that in the winter. I don't care about that, bro. Don't get. I don't. I don't care about shoveling my car out, and shoveling the house. It's oh, the scenery. It looks so pretty on Christmas. I don't give a fuck. Me, I don't care. Yeah. I personally do not care about it. Yeah, I, I yeah, traffic, weather, and then maybe if pop, I didn't see snow again, I would not. Parking's rough in the city, bro. Yeah, people also think of New England. It's like, oh, you get the scenic snow, like like the North Pole. It's like, no, it's dirty, yeah, we don't, brown, slushy snow, and we don't even get uh, like really all four seasons anymore. No, you know, because no. it, it's like winter until like April, and then it's like, oh, ninety. Right. Huh. Yeah, like hoodie and shorts weather isn't until April, at least. Like, it's going to be cold mm, all March. May, bro. Yeah, March is like the coldest fucking month. Crazy, Yo, bro. I swear, watch, February is going to drag on. It's going to be a slow, slow month. Because we yeah. already, we kind of like, January dragged a little bit, but it also went quick. I also just feel like we have so much shit that goes on. It though. just it goes never, quick never, no never feels what. that slow. Yeah, I know. Shit never feels that slow. Which I is, know, because watch when it's March and it's like, yo, you still have to do your taxes, Justin. Mm. I'm fucked, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're still going to do that, right? I'm just pushing it off. Right? Yeah, that's pushing, good. Pushing it. The Web Slinger asks, any advice for upcoming entertainers? Consistency. That's funny. I never think of myself as like an entertainer. Yeah, I guess we are, I right? I guess we're entertainers, right? No, we are. That's what you call it. Um, I guess it just a really consistency. Um, networking, showing face. Yeah, networking's big. Like, get to know other people in the industry if you can. Go show face out at places where those people would be. Um, but I would say the main thing is consistency. And if obviously, if you're an entertainer, you probably should be on social media. So make sure you post and on then, social media. I feel like you got to figure out some way to provide value. That's the number one thing. Yeah, because I, I always heard people on podcasts talk about that like years ago, and I listened and never understood what that meant. But it's really just like why someone that's successful, you want them to help you and be involved with what you're doing. People that are successful and, and are, you know, have built all this shit for themselves, like number one, they're still worried about their own problems. They don't have time to give you anything or help you if there's nothing in return for them. Yeah. Number two, it's also like if they don't know you, why the fuck do they care? Like, why would they care? Especially when, it, especially they've built everything they built probably on their own. Why do mm -hmm. they care to help you? So you got to bring something to them that makes sense. That's, that's yeah. just what it comes down to. Especially when you start getting some, we can say, cloud or fame. And when you start really uh -huh. becoming an actual, like, person, it's yeah. like you're really, really, like, protective of your time. So you have it's to like, be. Oh, you have yeah. to be. Like, if you talk to me two years ago or even a year ago like my answer might be different but like now that i'm in this shit for over three years like i know that's what it is like i've built this shit up three years oh for real you know what i mean like no, and we, shout out to um i'm gonna talk about this uh chef savvy chef savvy you know yeah, he, he hit me he literally comes to boston i guess he comes here quite a bit he's from philly uh, i see we him just met him at our event he's crying he's grinding doing his thing on uh you know his personal chef social stuff, media which yeah, is cool too. and he sent me he's like yo i'm gonna be in boston i was like oh i'm gonna be totally transparent with you like like we're probably not going to link. Like I have my days consume of mad shit. Oh, yeah. I'm just very being productive. And then when I do have that two, three, four hours, I'm, I'm home, bro. I'm home getting chilling. Chad time, not prosciutto right, poppy right, time. Right. So I was just like straight up. And then it's like, yo, when the world, if you know, if it brings us together, it will be. And then the event I invited him, I was like, yo, perfect opportunity, my bro. Like, I'll see you here. But he respected it because it's like, I'm not going to be like, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, we will. We will. Like, I'm not with that. Yeah, I'm going to let no, you know how it straight is, up. straight up. People respect that more too. Uh, and he did. You know? El Delo 7 asks, how did you two meet? Um, I mean, I think that first time we met was honestly definitely that camp, bro. Yeah. Um, police camp. camp. Shout out to Danny Long. 2005. Uh, dude was a Boston cop for like 30 plus years. Was, he was one week out of the summer. He would put a camp together with his own money and would do stuff Monday through Friday with the kids, like whether it was like tour and uh Fenway and it was uh touring the prisons and, and the police academy. I remember seeing all that. And um there's actually a picture of me and T together with the shirts on because after every day they would take us like to Pierce Park for our parents to pick us up. And um yeah, I had a picture with T, which is mad funny. That is funny having that picture. So yeah, that's how we met, like 2005, 2006. But then there was also a, a thing I remembered vividly um with the youth group. Um, under there's like a church, uh, Sacred Heart Church, Father Wayne. Uh -huh. 
underneath was like certain days, like Wednesdays and Saturdays or something. Like you can drop your kid off. It was like two bucks. Another thing they did for the community, um, whereas like they do cool shit. It was like playing dodgeball yeah, in the yeah, church yeah, downstairs yeah. or like, but one of them was to go into the movie theaters and we went. And I remember like looking at T like, yo, I just want to like go to the carnival across the street and just like eat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, like, yeah I just want the fried dough. Just want the fried <laughs> dough. Like, I don't want to see this shitty movie. ass Finding Nemo movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's still the same today. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. Uh, same guy asked what's Prajut's real name, which you already said, Chad. So Chad. Yeah. So people really don't know that. Know that. Because um, when people do that, it's like, oh, you're a phony. But it's like, no, like my mom is full Italian. My dad's full Irish. It's actually mad funny. Like my mom grew up in Eastie. My dad did too, but he spent a lot of his time in Celtic with the Irish. Mm. Um, so yeah, Chad. Last name's Mick Dunna, which is crazy. That's funny because the next question is Teddy O'Driscoll. How are the Irish lads at the Celtics game? Oh, the Irish people we met at the yeah, Celtics game is that yeah, them? That's one of them. Cool. Yeah. Um, that was actually mad Good funny. People. So about a year ago, we're like very close to the court, like second row, and we're like actually we got on the court. We had that was the time with the passes. That was with Hauser. That was no, with his. Yes, it was because no, we were on no, the they court. Said the Pelicans. They said it was a Pelicans game. Yeah, but it was still Hauser. Like, we still went to the thing with Hauser. Oh, because that was the Hawks, I thought. No, 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 no. When we sat with Hauser's seats. Was it? Mm-hmm. We got tickets from him? Mm-hmm. We got tickets from Hauser. Remember, we sat next to his wife, and then we had the pass. That's where we went on the court. Oh, but that was playoffs. Because oh. they said, yes, it was, because they said it's more stricter in playoffs, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. You're right. So, this was a different time. This was before that. It had to be, but we were on the court, though, because I remember looking off the court. Maybe with B West. It might have been the B West game. Maybe when we met Aiden. That's that, exactly that what it was. Day. That's yeah. exactly what it was. It was the Pelicans. It was that. Yep. And then he was like, yo, well, he's yelling at us. I'm like, oh, this dude's like just yelling at a player. Yeah. And he's like yelling Tommy in this Irish accent. I'm like, yo, he got like a Dublin jersey on. He took a picture with them. Then um, we ran into him again a year later at the, the Pelicans game. Crazy, right? Mad funny. Same Pelicans game. A year later, we we ran into him again. Mm-hmm. Two Irish guys and their son. Shout out them. And uh, they were really cool. It's funny to talk to people from like genuine obviously other country. Too. and Genuine people. Genuine fans. Of the, That's the best shit is the genuine fans. You, and you then, can like, see when the fake people yeah, come up to you. He kept telling know? me I got to try out the Dubliner in Boston. And then they like, I just shit actually saw the next day. They were mm-hmm. like. The event yeah, went great, guys. Shit. So yeah, I know Dubliner is just a little salty, I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, what is the best part about living in Boston? Liam Sully 09 asks. Best part. Um, I mean, for us, it's going to be a different answer because, like, obviously, like, we have a big following here. So, like, obviously, like, seeing people from here saying they like yeah. our shit is my favorite part of living that, here now. Yeah, but definitely. before all this shit, my favorite part about living in Boston, probably the sports, to be sports, honest. Yeah. Sports, yeah. And I think a one. top thing is, is everything's close. Everything's close. Yeah. And I didn't know that until I traveled a little bit. Like seeing like fucking different places, like you don't realize how close everything is. Like even just New York, for yeah, example, yeah, so yeah. Far New York's huge. Other. Like Florida's huge. Like I would never want to live in New York, bro. I swear. No, I, would not I live honestly there. like don't like New York. I love the food though. I love going for the food. The food's nice. The food, so right? Good. The food, so good. Uh just story, just Tory. That's what it is. Just Tory. When is the next batch of coffee coming out? I want a bag. Secure that bag, boys. Secure that bag. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, I'm working on it right now. We just got the coffee out to everyone. Thank you guys for your support. If you bought one, and uh, we're working on the next batch. K cups are coming. Um, ground coffee this time, not coffee beans is coming. Had a little fuck up. Um, and then we have more like c- coffee mugs and shit coming out. So that'll be out soon. Uh, I would say I don't know Sometime over the next month I'm just using my beans For uh, espresso martinis In the crib That's good That's good I'm glad Where's the deli F, F with Anthony 2 asks um, New deal fruit reveal yep. You know what's funny I love when people are like Oh you guys are from Revere You're even from Boston bro. I mean, No one's from Revere No one's here, from Revere No one <laughs> We're just filming there bro Yeah we're there That's, that's so the deli lame. Baller VC says Would you guys consider Filming some skits in Worcester I mean like Gosh yeah, Damn, bro, I'm, just, I'm just like, bro, this is crazy. I'm just like zooming in on his profile pics. I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? Bro, this kid has a picture with someone with the Boston with our Boston hat on. So he's like a real fan. Well, it's him. That's it's dope. Probably him, yeah. No, it is him, but I'm just yeah. saying it's like that's that funny. Is, that is that he's, funny. That he bought our merch. That's how I know you're a real support. If you buy our merch, then I know you really fuck with us. Because you know? it, it's so true though. Especially in that, that I think that's the one that is in person too. Because there's a lot of people too that like they'll see us be, oh, you make those videos. Oh, dope. You know what we gotta it's do? Like you just see my face, which is so cool, but there's people that are on a different level, like, yo, I really like fuck with you guys and support you guys. I know, the, the kid yes a uh, couple last week, uh, when we left the gyro place. He yeah, was like I, th- I honestly thought he was 
pulling something out. Like the way, tell me not, with the way he approached, I was like, whoa. He's kind of sketchy. He was like, he was like, yo. And then like the way he oh, ran up, yeah, I was like yeah, waiting. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. yo, what's up, bro? And he's like, yo, yeah. He was just mad shocked to see us. Yeah, I know. I'm it's just crazy, like, right? Damn, got the blicky on me, you know. <laughs> Ryan Feel asked, y'all gonna do a crossover vid with Side Talk, New York City, perhaps a Boston Knicks Ooh, or Rangers game at MSG. That would be sick. We should That'd message them. We should message Good them. Idea. Yeah, they've I mean they've seen this shit for sure. Oh my god, that's they've instant done stuff viral, with though. Mo and Cooch, but I, I've heard Kuj has even said it that they're very selective who they work with. Very, but very, I mean it, that's viral. But if it's a, but that's viral. But that's what I mean. Like Boston guys in New York, we'd probably get attacked. We need security. That's so viral though. If I'm wearing like a Celtics we gotta jersey, we got to actually ask Mo to try to connect us because that and is then, viral. Wait, 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 wait. Now we're talking to the Knicks and we're courtside that game too. We got to drop that video soon too. Yeah, we're gonna. Do, we just actually, actually, I think we did. We drop it yet? No, maybe. I don't think we did. No, no, we didn't drop it yet. So check out with. There's gonna be a Knicks. Uh, Nick's video we did at the deli with the grown up Italian guys. Make sure you check that out once it's out. Um, Mexi Melt. We got a few. We got a few left. Not too many left. I think we got like three left questions. Um, Mexi Melt 420 asks if you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? Change about the world? Yeah. I feel like the beef with each other. Like this whole world, like, you yeah, know, it's just like people just beef it. Cold, cold world right now. Like, you know, you came and say hi to people like in the gym. I say, try to like, what up? And it's just like, from the Miz. Oh, uh, yeah, man. There's a lot of things that could be. I mean, I don't know if you mean like realistic things or like things that like you can change, like, like, like people being like racist or like, like war and shit. Like, you can't change that. Like, that's never going to, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. that's just not going to change. You're either racist or you're not. You're either at, like, you, you can just stop a fucking war. Like, it's just like, it's th- things like that. <sighs> Genocides and shit, like the Gaza shit, like people getting killed. Like, you can't just like, uh, unfortunately, like it's, that's not, it's not that simple. So, and I'm not educated enough on that. So I don't know, but yeah, I mean, to me, it doesn't seem that simple. Um, but like things that like you can actually change. Um. Yeah, just people fucking. I don't know. You can't change people getting along with each other, but it's like I don't know. That's a that's a big question. <laughs> I don't I know. really know. <laughs> My brain doesn't expand that much. Just to be honest with you, I don't really think that no, much. No, I don't know. I don't even know how I'm paying rent next month. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would. I think I would just uh, you know, make there be no traffic in Boston. I think that'd be my number one change in the world. Maybe put a hundred k in my bank account. That'd be nice. You know. Yeah. Maybe a million. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, I would say that we have two que- two questions left. Yeah, Kyle Dre sixty nine. How you doing, fellas? Not you buddy. ever thought about visiting Australia? You'd love it. That's funny, huh? We have a lot of fans in Australia. Sydney, Sydney's big, a big demographic of us. Let's go. So we should definitely visit Australia eventually. Yeah. Um, last question, M Bart thirteen forty seven. Would you guys ever make an appearance on the Aki Way? Hands down, you guys are number one. We already went. We were. We didn't. No one knows that though. Isn't that crazy? Could repost we it. Were on the should Aki. repost it. We should repost that. That shit was uh, nasty. We should repost that. I'm down. I'll call. I post it with you. We knew. Yeah, we should repost that video. We gotta find it. Do you have it or no? I have the one I made. I think which you, we can do. I guess. I think they have it. You don't. You don't have the video. Mm-hmm. Oh, they edited the video. Did they put it on TikTok? Maybe. Maybe we can copy it off TikTok. Um, but yeah, that's the last question. Pretty good Q&A. Nothing too crazy. No. Um, Respectful. Just enough on. shit to talk about. I want to throw another like event. Off, so I want to do like a limited drop hat, like a crazy sweatshirt. Yeah, like, I want to do another in person, like selling shit in person. I think the number one thing is just the the company we're working with right now. It's tough. It's one, rough and tough. One that, two. I need someone to run that shit. Like what? Run the event. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like it's just tough. Like it's tough to like be the the face of it and then no, also we, directing think, people. No, we, like, we we learned we learned that with the first event how smooth it went and the second event didn't go as smooth. But it still was okay. Like, it still like was the first good. one we had, people like my cousin was helping with that's the what I'm line. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to get at. Like we saw how smooth that went. Yeah. Like we should, you know, for the next one we need someone to just like oversee everything, you know. If we're like meeting supporters and shit fans like real security we shouldn't have 
to like make sure everyone's paying and like not stealing and like fucking do like an actual sectioned off for a VIP with like better. I thought our first event was run very professional and smooth. That shit was second nasty. event was good too, bro. It was just it got to a point where we were like having we had to do too many things. It was just the setup. We shouldn't have been. The setup over was there. rough. Yeah, yeah, the people feel tough. like they couldn't come over there. Yeah, the setup was a little tough for that, but um, yeah. Where do you think we we're gonna have this next one? Where, 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 where would you want to have it? It's a tough question. I don't know. Good question. I feel like memoir could be sick. Yeah, just twenty one plus. Yeah, that's that too. Um, I also feel like the nightclub like Moxie's scares too though. Moxie's I feel like the too. nightclub vibe scares away all the people too. It does. They Mo- feel like Moxie's, they're like out of place. Moxie's, 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 Moxie's upstairs. Moxie's is cool. Moxie's that's, upstairs. That's, that's that's gonna be where. In the summer, you open the doors. Everyone's outside. Yeah, taking that, that's picks. actually where it's gonna be. It well. is gonna why be. Why would we Moxie's. do it? Why I didn't even think about. I don't that. know. I don't know why I even said memoir. Cause we were supposed to do memoir and then uh, Moxie's Seaport is gonna be probably where our next events at. I would say probably when it's nicer out, maybe May or June or something. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe even before then. No, I agree. This was yours. This is mine, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up another beautiful podcast. Again, the merch is at itscontent.com. Get the black on black hat right here. One of my new favorites. Um, <laughs> go grab the merch if you haven't. Itscontent.com. It's going quick. Uh, any final words? Anything you want to um, add in? No, nah, really. Just at the end of the day, it's uh, it's, all it's all content. It's always been content, though. You know, it's always like it's con. It's been the content like that's brought the content. Like it's always been content. You know. Yeah. See you later, guys.